Welcome back to Superior Sunrise with us still, Andy Holloway. Andy, um, everybody has been talking about the fires. If you've been on the news, on social media, you've seen it. Um, paint the picture for a little bit of what the situation is like right now in the Panhandle for us. Well, as you know, the Smokehouse Creek Fire is what my county, Hemp Hill, and our sister county just to the west, Roberts County, are the, the epicenters mm -hmm. of, of the over a million acres that burned up between our two counties, uh, over 900,000 acres. And in my county alone, Hemp Hill County, uh, the county seat, Canadian, Texas, uh, we've lost uh, six to 8,000 mother cows that we can account for at this point. Uh, we've lost 72 homes. One uh, dear sweet lady passed away. And uh, it, it's just been a horrible tragedy. And uh, of course, there's so much stress with that. It's the financial loss and the property loss, right. but it's the mental thing because, you know, uh, we in the cattle business, uh, our ranching heritage and our beef cattle are our way of life. And, and it's, it is so unbelievably emotional. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been very stressful. And uh, so now we're in the phase of what I call the, the miracle People literally from 25 different states have been bringing hay and feed. Uh, people have been sending money. Uh, all kinds of amazing, miraculous things that people are doing. Um, I heard Ralph Wade say a while ago that, uh, you know, we're a family in the beef cattle industry. A, a state senator from Arizona called me a few days ago, and she and her husband are ranchers and they're sending two loads of alfalfa hay. We, we've just gotten all kinds, and think about the freight from Arizona to Canadian right. Texas. It's a lot. Yeah, that, that is incredible. It's been, I've seen some pictures that you've posted of people already coming together. So tell us, um, somebody, if I wanna help out, what's the best way for them to get out to what they can donate, where they can bring it to, and how they can help out? So there's many great organizations. Jason Skaggs is here with Cattle Raisers. They've got a great, fundraiser going, but locally, we have through our uh, Canadian Volunteer Fire Department, which is a, a nonprofit, mm -hmm. we've set up an account that people can donate to. Uh, it was opened up on Monday, this past Monday, and $40,000 came in that one day. Um, so uh, you can make your check out to the Canadian Volunteer Fire Department, PO Box 300, Canadian, Texas, 79014. Be sure and mark on your check that it's for the Rancher Wildfire Relief Fund. Okay. And then we have a Venmo uh, where people can just go to Venmo and send their money uh, that away. No gift is too small or too great. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the need is off the charts. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure that um, it's hard being in that, but it has to be encouraging to see your community and the whole country just rally behind you guys. It makes us feel good to be Texans, mm -hmm. to be from the Texas Panhandle, to be Americans. Yeah. There's so many things in our world that seem to tear us apart and divide us, but when something like this happens, that's this catastrophic, it's so endearing to see how people come together. And Kelly, I wanna say as a member of the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service, how proud I am of the Extension Service and many of the other agencies mm -hmm. in Texas. Mm -hmm. Governor Abbott was in our town just a couple of days ago, and it's very, very good. Mm -hmm. so. well, that's incredible. Um, we will definitely have that information published, and we will be um, ready to help out whichever way we can. Thank you so much Thank for Thank you here. for all that the Superior Way does for our endeavors. Absolutely. We love you guys. Pleasure you being here. Don't go anywhere. We have more Superior Sunrise up next. Mm -hmm.